Hey Inspirators, it's Inspiring Ness here. Welcome back to another wonderful Instagram Live interview for all of you. I am so, so excited for today's guest. Um, it has kind of been a little bit of like a long awaited interview, you can say, but um, I'm very, very excited. I hope you are all um, excited as well for today's interview. I hope you are doing well, especially regarding everything that's going on in the news right now. I know if you're based in the USA, the election is coming up, which is leaving a lot of people on their toes as well. Here in the UK, they're saying we're going back on lockdown. But there's a lot of kind of just stuff going on in the media right now. So hopefully this interview will kind of enlighten you and put you in a better and more positive mood. So today's guest today on my interview is the wonderful Tamara Smart. She is an actress. You may recognize her from The Worst Witch, but she has definitely moved on from that. She has done some incredible projects. She was playing Julia in Artemis Fowl, which is available to watch on Disney Plus. And she's in her new movie, which is on Netflix, which is called A Babysitter's Guide to Monster Hunting. Um, I think I watched it last week and it was such a good film. I was so, so excited to watch it. And I'm very, very proud of everything that she's doing. So now I'm going to bring her on to the interview and then we can just get straight into it. And make sure to leave any questions if you have any during the interview. Hi. Hi! How are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm good, thank you. What have you been up to recently? Nothing really, just school started back up, so I'm back on that now, but mostly just, you know, staying inside, having fun with my family. Oh, that's so good to hear. Um, so, I'm very excited for today. Hope you are um, as well. We just yes, going to jump into the first question, um, which is, when and why did you begin your career in acting? Well, I have always been quite the performer, dancing around in the living room for my family, singing to Hannah <laughs> Montana. Um, but I've danced since I was three years old competitively, and I sort of stopped when I was 13. But I played around with karate and ballet and gymnastics, so I've always sort of been quite a sporty person. And I ended up joining a sort of weekend theatre school, and I just loved it. So I, I went for a couple of months and they started giving out pamphlets for to audition for an agency. And I auditioned, it sort of just went from there and I sort of got the idea of auditioning for it because my sister had been in a couple of um, West End shows and I was like, well, if she could do it, maybe I should try it. Yeah. Oh, that's so fantastic! Because in my eyes, I was like, she's such a good, she's such a good actress. She must just have started off. But I never knew that you dance like competitively. I think that's something that a lot of people may not may not know as well. But that is, I'm such a great way to just kind of get into what you're doing now as well. I always love hearing people's stories about how they get into their passion. It's always so interesting to hear about. Um, the next question is, what has been your favourite memory or your favourite highlight from being an actress so far? I know there are probably so many, but if you could pick one, which one? <laughs> if I had to pick one, I think it would just have to be the overall experience of playing Kelly um, from Vapes of Sky to Monster Dancing. That was just amazing. It was my first lead role in a movie, and then I was out filming in Canada for a couple of months with some amazing people. It was it was a really great experience. So I just have to sort of you know round it up to that sort of period of months. Mm, I mean, I can imagine. It must have been so much fun. And how, how long were you filming for? We filmed for about three months, maybe three and a half if we count in rehearsals and things like that. But yeah, it was, it was a pretty long film special. I know, I can imagine. And you have to practice all the stunts and all the different things as yeah. well. They need to wait for it to come out. I was speaking to my mom about this. So I was like, if I was ever in like a sci-fi film, I probably wouldn't be able to contain myself because you need to not tell anyone and you have to wait till everything's everything's finished and everything's edited until the film can come out so that must have been very anticipating to see the film um but moving on to the next question you starred in the worst witch artemis fowl and your new movie a babysitter's guide to monster hunting now i've kind of realized that all these films are very magical projects so what does your dream project look like well i mean i think i'd love to play something that people you know, haven't seen me in before, um, something that's like very out of character for me. So I think I'd love to play a villain of some kind, I think, which would be kind of fun because I, I just, I, if you don't know this about me, I love the villains. 
because I'm always rooting for them in the corner where everyone's like, yes, go to hero. I'm like, no, go with the bad guy. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I'd love to sort of, you know, play around with a really spooky character. Because um, I really only just play, you know, heroines so far. So I think that could be really, really fun. And, you know, something horror and scary. And, yeah. It'll be very just, it'll, it'll show that your range as well. Yeah. So that you can be different characters as well. but. For me, I'm like, oh my gosh, acting like a mean person, I would, I would be so frightened that you don't offend one of your co-stars as well. But are there any like specific villains that you look up to in films or TV shows that you'd probably draw from if you were to play that type of role? Yeah, I mean, I definitely have to say Helen of Bonacarta as oh, um, love the her. Strange. I'd have to draw from that, definitely. And I mean, Tom in a baby suit guy from Monster Hunter was great. I mean, I definitely draw from a bit of the Grangiole, a bit of Bellatrix, you know. Um, but yeah, I think I'd love to play with something that's like really really good. You know, I, I, I'm not too sure yet, but something definitely evil, something very, very psychotic, and something very <laughs> scary would be fun. Take them by surprise, is the yes, best thing yes. to do. <laughs> um, so, I can imagine that there are so many, well obviously there are so many people just in the acting industry, in the media industry, even in dance, singing, whatever it is, theatre. So I'm interested in um, who do you look up to? Maybe it could, it didn't even have to be like actors or actresses, it could be like your family members. Yeah, I mean, I'd have to say all of my family because they're super supportive and um, they're just amazing. I mean, I, I couldn't wish for a better family who would just, you know, drop everything to travel with me, which is really, really nice. But um, if we're talking actors and actresses, I'd probably have to say Emma Watson. I mean, I feel like we all stand her from since nice Harry one. Potter. <laughs> yes. And I think she's just played some such key roles in my life. And she's been such a, had, had such a huge involvement with my childhood that she literally knows nothing about. But um, yeah, and I think she's an amazing, you know, advocate for fem feminism today. Um, and I think she really educated me on what feminism is now. Um, uh, and I also have to say, Helen of Bonham Carter. I mean, I already brought her up, but <laughs> I feel like if you just look at all of her roles, they're just all completely different. Not one looks the same, which I mm. absolutely love. And I love how she plays, you know, some sweet characters, some crazy characters. It really just, she really plays with genres, which I find really interesting. I know, right? I mean, I was so surprised when I found out she hasn't even won an Oscar. Yeah, me too. I was like, she's done so much and so many different characters. It's like none of them are ever the same. They're all so unique and she portrays them so just brilliantly and she hasn't won an Oscar. Yeah. I was I so that's... shocked. We need to make a petition. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> yes, I will sign it. I will happily sign a petition. We just get all, we just get all the big fandoms. We will get them from all the yes. different films she's been in, and just let's just get her that Oscar. She really she really does deserve it. Truly, she's an incredible actress. Yeah, I definitely agree. And Emma Watson, such an amazing role model. Not even just in acting, but just in general, something you should just look up to, just to yeah. just to follow and what she does. She just like a, I feel like a natural born leader. If that makes sense. Yeah, she's, she's someone who ins inspires me because she's her platform to educate others. Um, mm. um, and she's just quite, I think she's a very genuine person, someone who's very down to work. So yeah, I, re I really love Emma. <laughs> Basically the whole Harry Potter cast. Yes, oh yes, <laughs> just everyone. Basically the whole cast, I mean same here as well. Um, so you've worked alongside with some incredible actors such as Tom Felton, speaking of Harry Potter as well, um, Josh Gad and many more. So, who's someone you'd love to work with and why? Um, Your dream co-star? I'd say my dream co-star would definitely be Zendaya. I mean, I, 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 I <laughs> saw the same as Emma. I mean, I've watched her since, you know, Shake It Up on Disney Channel. And it's been really interesting, you know, growing up, but also, you know, watching her grow up. It sounds crazy mm. because I'm still, you know, a kid. But um, it's been been really nice. And obviously, she's one of the youngest people to win an Emmy, which I inspire to live up to, you know? And so I think it'd be really fun to, you know, maybe even, like, play a sibling of hers or something like that. It'd be really fun. I know. She just, like, she's one of my biggest inspirations. And when I found out that she won that Emmy, I mean, I kind of knew already when they announced it, but oh, yeah. when you actually see it and you see everyone else's reactions, it's just like a, you just start tearing up. 
I was just yeah. like, oh my gosh, this is really happening. And her reaction was priceless. It was. Absolutely priceless. Was just so her whole funny. family. And her whole family <laughs> in the back, like, screaming. It was amazing. And it's so amazing that it kind of didn't take away from the fact that the whole ceremony was obviously virtual. Yeah. But everyone's reaction still just kind of made it feel like you were still there in the audience or that you were there actually in that seminar, whatever it was. So, yeah, I'd love to work with her as well. I can definitely imagine you guys as siblings. So, I'll, I'll fingers, fingers crossed on that yes, project um, to hopefully come soon in the future as well. <laughs> Um, so, speaking of your most recent project, which is A Babysitter's Guide to Monster Hunting, um, when you were on the set of filming that, what was your favourite or your most anticipated thing to do whilst filming? I'd probably have to say doing stunts. Mm. I mean, I love stunts. I love, as I, as I said, I have like a background of, you know, just always moving and being in a club where you run around and sometimes get hurt, but not on purpose, but I'm clumsy, <laughs> so. But yeah, I think that stunts was, I just loved it. I loved working with the amazing stunt crew, which was Maya Ara, and she was the stunt coordinator. And my amazing um, stunt double, who was Serena Lee. Um, and yeah, it was really fun collaborating with them and being able to do these dangerous stunts. I mean, I cannot take credit for all of them, but they let me do some pretty cool things. I mean, yeah, I think I was watching it on, on your Instagram behind the whole green screen. It just looks so interesting to do, but for me, I'm like the most, honestly, the least athletic person you'll ever meet. <laughs> so, if, if I was ever going to do stunts, I mean, okay, I need a whole team with me to help me through this, because yeah I, ju I just i just couldn't i don't have the normal capacity to do so but um definitely congratulations on doing that stunt because it turned out so just fantastically um in the film as well i think it just looks so cool when it all comes together just the whole different world that you kind of step into when you watch films brilliant yeah yeah i mean that's one of the main reasons i started acting i mean i love the way the movies make me feel i love how i always felt magical watching them and my main sort of goal with acting was just to recreate that for kids and adults and you know elderly people just for everyone and I, I hope I accomplish that. I mean I definitely think you did and you're just going to be achieving so much more in the future as well I can definitely envision that for you as well. Oh uh, I saw someone just commented you're British? Um, yes. kind of speaking of that how was it like to do an American accent for Kelly in the film? I mean, it's crazy. I mean, I I sort of, we flew out to Canada and I'm gonna switch right now. We flew out to Canada and I spoke in my American accent for most of the time. And when I did, I, I mean, you can't really break it. Otherwise it sounds really weird when you snap in and out. And we maybe got like two months in and no one knew I was British except from the directors and everyone. And so I went on set and I was like, hi guys, how are you? And they're like, oh my God, you're British. And I was like, yeah, I am. Um, and they were like, we had no idea. We just thought your mom was, cause my mom was with me at the time. They just they just thought she was British and she was from Britain and we lived out here. It was really funny. Um, but yeah, I, I had fun just, you know, switching in and out of the accent. Oh my gosh, two months. Yes. Oh that yes. Is that is so crazy. You fully just stayed in character the whole time. It it's like, okay, I'm going to wake out. up as Kelly, go to sleep as Kelly, be on set as Kelly just the whole time, just the whole way through. <laughs> but that is that is such a fun thing to hear. And I bet just like obviously stepping into a different character that obviously is not from where you are from must have been really fun to do um, as well. And my final question is, what could we be expecting from you in the future? And are there any goals that you'd like to accomplish? Yeah, I think that I definitely want to, you know, widen my horizon on genres. So I really want to play around with just different, um, you know, sort of things. I mean, I'd love to go into Marvel. That'd be really fun. And as I said, you know, evil characters. So that would be fun playing around with a new big bad wolf kind of person. Um, and I think I'd have to say also horror, just some like play horror, like something like Lights Out or Woman in Black or something like that would be really, really fun to do. Um, and I think mostly something I really, really want to do is sort of like a teen drama, like Rivdale or Outer Banks or, you know, 
on my block would be really, really fun to oh. do. I think it, I think it would be really amazing to sort of just, you know, work with a whole team cast and, you know, have drama and, you know, I think playing sort of just like a plain role that doesn't doesn't have much magic involved but has lots of, you know, you know, really genuine moments. Mm, I totally agree with you. You just mentioned like all my favourite TV series. I bet <laughs> everyone watching as well is like, yeah, but I've watched that show as well, watch that show as well. Um, but yeah, I totally agree with you. Like, obviously, doing the magical projects are so much fun to do and to see how they turn out. But like, also, like, the best moments in the film are always just those actors really becoming their character and just those really genuine moments that you see on television that really just yeah. kind of make your heart kind of sink as well. So, oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. But I promise, guys, I'm not going, I'm definitely staying in the supernatural realm for now. <laughs> I definitely expect more from me, but do not think that I'm ever leaving the supernatural realm. It's where I started, it's where I'll end. I'm always going to be that. I mean, you're just the OG supernatural actress. That's, yes. what, that's, that's your new, that's your new <laughs> nickname. Yes. <laughs> the supernatural actress Tamara Smart um, as well. Um, but I can definitely see all those goals um, happening for you. And it's just so amazing everything that you're doing. I mean, you're a role model to me and so many other people who are just on this interview as well. And we're going to go through, I believe, like around three questions from the viewers um, that they've been sending in during the interview. And then we'll have to wrap up, unfortunately, um, as well. Um, this question is, how was it working with Tom Felton? What was your reaction when you found out he was going to be on the film? I would, I would be shook. <laughs> I'd be so too. shocked. I mean, we only really found out that he was going to play the Grand Theft Auto maybe two days before he got here. So Whoa. we didn't have much time. We, we all sort of, you know, said to ourselves, okay, we're going to freak out for the next two days. And when we get here, we're going to be really casual because, you know, we can't be really about these on. guys. And we can't be really about <laughs> So we had two days of sort of just like full on screaming um, and he got here and it was just so lovely. I mean, I was expecting it to be really awkward, but he he just made me feel really comfortable and he is quite the prankster, which not many people know that. Um, but yeah, he really pulls all the pranks on set, um, which is really, really fun. And he's amazing with us kids, which was really nice because, you know, it can be hard, you know, working with adults and kids, but it was just, it was, casual it was just nice it wasn't it wasn't a nine to five at work it was just you know hanging with tom and all my cast members which mm. was it was nice. he was amazing i mean what can you expect he's amazing on instagram he's just amazing in person too i mean yeah he is the tom felton i mean you couldn't really be expecting anything less or anything more to be I honest mean, yeah <laughs> i mean two days before finding out that is so crazy i know I, I would have gone like, absolutely insane with any 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 actor that I've looked up to for such a long time. Yeah, it was it was weird because we were we were just sort of you know doing rehearsals and you know sorting out costumes and makeup and things like that. And we got pulled into the green room for lunch where we were eating most days, um, and they had obviously all of our cast pictures up, um, and we saw Tom's up. And we were like, oh, that's interesting. And we thought, you know, because sometimes they just do, you know, talk with actors, we want you to be this part, blah, blah, blah. We just thought it was going to be a maybe. And um, I can't remember who walked in. I can't remember if it was a producer or Rachel. And they were like, okay, he's going to be coming in two days to do a read through. And we were like, no way. No way. This is a real, someone pinch me. <laughs> I know, it was like that. It was like that. We all sort of just dropped our plates and we were just like, what is happening? <laughs> it was, it was crazy, but it was, it was amazing and he's just amazing and yeah must have been such a dream come true and you guys are like the best dynamic duo as well oh so. yes 100 <laughs> an amazing duo um the next question is Um, do you still talk to some of the characters or actors from The Worst Witch? Which is actually an interesting question. Yes, I do. I mean, those girls, I've known them for four years. Like, I've honestly grown up with them. I lived with them through the key stages of my life. And so, yeah, of course, I mean, I all have them on text. And we have this little Snapchat group chat where we, you know, update each other on our lives. So we don't miss out on anything. And I mean, I've seen them. The last time I saw them... Oh, I can't remember when, but we went we went on a glamping trip, which was really nice. Oh, I love that. Uh, yeah, 
I haven't seen them in a while though, obviously because of all the COVID rules. But we do lots of FaceTimes and yeah. So yeah, I, I love the girls and we, we still talk. We still talk. I mean, that's great to hear because so many just cast members, it's like you just leave there with just long life friendship. So it's always so great to hear. Definitely. I mean, they're all my best friends and it just, it made some amazing, I mean, you know, scrap best friends. I made some family. I made some family. Definitely. Um, the final question is, when was your first acting audition? Wow. That must be a really big flashback. <laughs> Throwback. Wow. Throwback. I mean, I don't think I can even remember what my first audition was. I mean, I was nine, but like the first job I got and the first like vivid um, audition I remember was a Sainsbury's act, um, and it was for Christmas. And I remember auditioning for it, and it was sort of just you know casual. I didn't think I got it, and I found that I got it, and I'm super excited about it. I left my, um, I was in primary school at the time, I was in year six, and I was like, guys, I, I got a job, like I'm, I'm an official <laughs> actor now. Um, and I left school for three days, and they were sort of, they were still wary about it, because they were like, mm, is she just ill, or is she, is she, <laughs> is she doing something else? Something? What is she doing? <laughs> yeah, um, and we ended up filming it, and it looked great, um, and then it never came on on the TV. It's kind of a sad moment for me. But um, yeah, I do not remember ever seeing it, which was very sad, but it was an amazing first memory of filming because it was sort of my first time in like a filming lot and you know, being driven to set and it was, it was really nice. It was it was the first experience that I will never forget. Yeah, your first experience, they just kind of got you started and everything um, yeah. as well. But you, I pretty much got like exactly the same experience as well. My first job was a Christmas Facebook advert. <laughs> Um, and it was so much fun and we had a dog on set as well and I left school I believe for like one day and then I came back and I was like do you guys know where I was? I was doing some <laughs> filming I was. Um, <laughs> but it didn't unfortunately go on TV but at least you still you still got the memories that stay with you um, anyways which is just the most important thing um, in the first place as well um, but that was the final question. Thank you all so, so much for tuning in and sending in some of your questions. Sorry if we didn't get through all of them um, as well. Tamara, it was such a pleasure speaking to you. I wish you all the best in the future. I wish you like, all the success because you totally deserve the world. <laughs> thank you so much. And thank you so much for having me. I have had an absolute blast. Oh, same here. Thank you so much for being here, everybody. Make sure to go follow Tamara if you don't already. And just stay tuned for what's coming up in the future as well. All right, thank you so much. Thank I'll you. Speak for to you soon. Me. Bye, Bye, guys. So now it is the end of the interview. I hope you all did enjoy it. Make sure to go and follow tomorrow if you don't already, which I would be surprised if you don't already, anyways. Uh, make sure to go and check out my Amazon Prime show, which is called The Inspiring Vanessa Show. I've got a lot of other interviews um, up on my YouTube channel with other incredible actors and actresses, as well as just incredible individuals in general as well. So make sure to go and check out those videos. My YouTube is Inspiring Vanessa, and I've also got some other IGTV interviews that you can just watch here on my Instagram, which is at Inspiring Vanessa here as well. I hope you all did enjoy it. Um, make sure to go and watch A Babysitter's Guide to Monster Hunting if you haven't already with obviously Tamara playing Kelly and also don't forget to go and um, watch out for Tom Felton he's a little bit unrecognisable to be honest with his costume but they both are such an amazing duo together once again thank you all so, so much for tuning in today um, and I'll speak to you all soon bye everyone